guys, Judy Ann here from JustEdit.com and today we're going to be making sweet and sour pork. Let's hit the kitchen. So we're, you know, we're making sweet and sour pork, and so I'm cubing these guys, and um, let me grab this other guy over here. Now, when we're when we're done cubing these guys, I'm gonna coat. Now, normally with hot and sour, hot hot and no sweet and sour pork, um, you want to deep fry your your pork. And now I don't want to deep fry them. I'm just going to pan sear them. So I'm going to coat it with a little bit of rice wine vinegar and literally just saute my pork. Rice, vinegar, and so one fourth cup of the vinegar and I'm coating it all over my pork before we cook it, okay? Um, I'm going to even, mixing this guy in, and I'm gonna even put some more um, fresh, cracked black pepper, my bad, okay. Like maybe, how much is that? That's like half a teaspoon so far. Okay, so half a teaspoon. Okay, and then mix it up. That's about a full teaspoon. Okay, so teaspoon. <clears throat> and then now we're gonna go on the stove top. Turn on my fire here on a medium, high to medium heat, okay? And now I do not have a wok, I just have a regular saucepan, so I'm just going to deal with that. Now I'm going to use canola oil over here, because that's what I got right now. And I put one tablespoon of oil. We're going to add some onions. As we're adding the onions, we're going to go ahead and add my pork. Now I'm going to cover it and put it on medium heat. Where's my layer? <laughs> you know why it's not getting there? Because I washed it. Okay. So we're going to cover this and we're going to check on it in three minutes. It's been three minutes. Let me see what happened. Oh my goodness! Just kidding. Stop. Oh. All right. So it's been three minutes. All right. That's exactly how I want it to look. Now it's steamed, right? So we're gonna just kind of mush this baby up. Now with pork, we want to make sure it's fully cooked. And as of right now, it looks pretty good. I'm going to cut this guy. Nope, I can't cut it. So that means it still needs to get uh, be on the burner. No, that's fine because I'm going to leave it open this time and let the, uh, the juices here evaporate. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and leave this guy up. And as we're letting it sit with no lid, we're just going to toss this guy around. Okay, and we're going to let it cook with the sauce. Now, I'm going to add some more um, onions, as some of the onions are getting um, opaque, is that how you say it? Opaque or translucent, okay, there goes my accent. Um, so that means I'm going to add some more onions, okay, 
Let me grab my onions here. And break this baby up. Okay. Like that. So um, I'm going to actually add the soy sauce here at this time. One fourth cup of soy sauce. Isn't it cute? It's Hello Kitty. Anyways, so we're going to be dousing it like, oi, in the pan, stay in the pan. <laughs> oh boy, okay, so dousing it like that. Sheesh. I missed the pan for a second. Darn it. Okay. Keeping it real, guys. Keeping it real. Okay, so now it's soy sauce. So that's some of the flavor in here. And now we're going to go ahead and literally stir this guy up. Now it has soy sauce. <clears throat> so now that it has the soy sauce, we're going to let it, again, um, leave it alone and let the sauce in here uh, evaporate. In the meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and work on our sauce for the sweet and sour sauce. We're going to add half a cup of tomato paste. Okay. Here. Now, um, it's practically half a can of tomato paste um, if you don't have measuring spoons. Ah. Okay, and then now we're going to go ahead and grab my can of pineapple, but I'm just going to be draining the pineapple juice. We're going to be using the pineapples from this can for the sweet and sour pork recipe, but I'm just taking out the juice from the can. And oh my goodness, come on, hurry up. But uh <laughs> but I'm just going to be using half a cup of the pineapple juice. Oh my goodness, come on now. Um, from the can because I like to use pineapple juice as much as I can because pineapple juice in itself has um, not just the sweetener but it has the enzymes to turn the sauce so that's why I'm using some of the juice here okay so I think I got half a cup up in here so dump it in here all right and then we're going to put in, I'm using the rice vinegar here. And I recommend it if you make a, if you want to make a lot of uh, recipes with vinegar. Because with this um, vinegar, you can make sushi and sal uh, like sushi rice, my bad and some salads and whatnot. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and add um, one fourth cup. This is half a cup, my bad. I wanna use one fourth cup, here we go, of the rice wine vinegar. Fresh cracked black pepper. Man, say that five times. <laughs> I'd say maybe a teaspoon, one TSP. And then, now I like to use um, Himalayan pink salt. So, um, the power of pink. No, I'm saying. I like Himalayan pink salt. Now, I'd say that was a oh, one and a half teaspoon. There we go. And then, diced tomatoes. So, I'm going to use literally half a cup, like this much. Okay. <laughs> One fourth of ketchup. Mm. I'm finishing up my ketchup, you guys. Mm -hmm. Like, oops. Okay. Like so. Now, you can make your sauce without the diced tomatoes, but I like having chunks in my sweet and sour pork. And so 
That's why I added the diced tomatoes in here. Now, um, if you don't have the half a cup of diced tomatoes, you could substitute that with ketchup, if you'd like. Ketchup is one of the, I'd say every household at least has ketchup. I'm talking worldwide here, like everybody, everybody, everybody usually have ketchup, a bottle of ketchup and or a packet of ketchup, you know what I'm saying? So um, you could, anybody and everybody could make this recipe. You hear that people? Everybody and their mother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I like this kind of consistency. Okay, and then um, ooh, one fourth cup of this is cornstarch. Now, whenever you use cornstarch, um, it's as got a little bit there. Okay, so we're gonna be using cornstarch, and when we use cornstarch, it's gonna be a thickener. This is already pretty thick, but um. In the end, when you're gonna be cooking this on the stove top, you wanna even thicken it some more. So this is why we're adding one fourth cup of cornstarch. Now when you use cornstarch, you want to use it with water. But let me show you the technique that I use, or that I do, when I do anything with cornstarch, okay? So with cornstarch, I have a regular bowl, like so. And so, we're gonna be using one fourth of the cornstarch, right? And we're gonna be adding some water. We're gonna add one fourth water and slowly, gradually put the powder in and the water, powder, water, powder water powder and water okay all right so we're gonna whip this baby up like so you want to gradually beat this guy beat this guy beat no I'm just kidding <laughs> but you want to beat it and then gradually put the powder like so but I think you guys get the idea but you want to slowly add it in. And that's a key fact or a key word there of slowly bringing it in because whenever you're bringing the cornstarch with the water to the flame, you want to gradually bring it in as well. So I will be showing that how, how I do that. Mm-hmm just like that okay all right it's pretty sticky as you can see so we did pretty good all right now we're gonna get on the stove top it's been eight minutes and now I'm stirring these babies up okay you could tell um, I've added a little bit more onions and some of them are opaque and now brown because of the soy sauce, okay? But um, some are still white and I kind of want to keep it that way. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the pineapple. We're adding the pineapple now. Okay. These are juicy. All right. So I want to mix, mix these guys in. All right. Because these are not deep fried, I'm thinking that it's less calories because it's not deep fried. But anyway, maybe it's just my wishful thinking. But um, anyway, mix these guys in, okay? <clears throat> and now we're going to put in the sauce, this sauce, 
that we made, right? All right. So how much pork do I have here? This is um, two pounds of pork. I'd say literally one and a half pounds. And so that's why it's a lot of sauce. Um, now we're just gonna dump this guy in. Maybe I should have dumped the other way so you guys can see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but you guys get the idea, right? We're dumping this guy in. Like that. All right. I like mine a little bit saucy. All right, so. I'm folding it in. I'm folding it in. I'm lowering my heat to medium low. Okay. All right. I like my really, really saucy. So. Fold it in, and I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna cover it like half open, half closed lid, and let it sit for a good ten minutes. Alright, so I have um, cooked rice here because, you know, sweet and sour pork goes great with rice. And as a topping, I'm going to go ahead and add some green onions just to kind of put some green in there. Okay. And that's sweet, sour pork. Hey, hopefully you guys watched... Um, my meal prepping videos because these green onions here comes in handy for times like this. And I love fresh green onions. Mm. 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 Okay, so the sauce is thick, but I like it thick. Now, when you go to restaurants, I like depending on certain restaurants, right? Like some, um, some restaurants have their sauce thick and some. Thin. If you don't like it thick, like the way I have it, what I would suggest is um, for sure only half a can of the diced tomatoes. Mm. I like mine thick. So, mm. yummy. For sure though, you have to eat this with rice. Comment down below to let me know how do you eat your sweet and sour pork. Do you eat it with rice? You eat, you eat it with noodles. You eat it with rice noodles or ramen noodles or I don't know, risotto. Let me know in the comments below. Mm. That's really good. So. You know, <clears throat> sometimes we have our days where we're like, oh, let's order Chinese. No, I can make it at home. <laughs> All right, guys. Expand your mind, explore your palate, and let's keep chasing the flavor, my eaters. You know what? Maybe I'll see you in this video. No, I'll see you in this video. No, I'll see you in a video. Mmm, that is really good. Let me know when you try this recipe 
and what you think. How did it come out for you? Did you know I have a Pinterest? And this recipe is posted on my Pinterest as well. And you know, you know how it is when the Pinterest rule, the Pinterest world, I hope I said it right. You look at a photo, you look at a recipe, and sometimes you can engage when leaving comments and say, hey, I tried it too. And you take a picture and say, this is how mine turned out. So yeah, let's do it in the YouTube world too. Mmm. Yum. Well, if you don't have Pinterest, maybe you have Facebook. We have a Facebook page too. And we have a closed group on Facebook. It's, of course, just 8-8. And we have um, Twitter. The follow is there too. Twitter, just 8-8. And then Instagram. Who has an IG? Comment down below to let me know your IG name. Mmm. Right. <clears throat> this is good. I like it saucy. Saucy. <laughs>